So first thing you want to do when you're about to cook anything for anyone, even if it's just yourself, you want to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Here I'm just taking some distilled white vinegar and I'm mixing that with some lukewarm water and I'm going to use this solution to clean my chicken. You want to make sure you're opening up the chicken so that the solution can get on the inside. So I'm going to let that sit for at least 30 minutes usually and I'm going to thoroughly wash my hands again with the soap and water. Don't want any cross contamination. So here I have some organic celery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop off the pieces of the celery and I'm going to remove the ends of the celery and I'm going to remove any extra pieces that I won't be putting in my soup today. With these extra pieces, I'm setting them off to the side so that I can put them in a Ziploc bag and use them for a later date for vegetable stock. These pieces can be boiled down and made into another vegetable stock, stock for any other kinds of soup. So I'm just gonna put them in a plastic bag off to the side. Here I'm just roughly chopping the celery and I'm going to put it into a Tupperware bowl. The pieces don't have to be extremely fine or small because of the cooking, how we're going to make this soup. It is going to basically disintegrate into nothing in your mouth, which I love because I don't like celery. <laughs> Just like the flavor in soup. Make sure when you're chopping that you're always moving your fingers away from the blade. If you are under the age of 18, make sure you're supervised by a parent or ask your parent to do this part of the cooking. So here I'm gonna chop some carrots and I chopped off the ends of each of the carrots and I put those to the side. The rest of the carrot, including the skin, I'm going to use inside my soup. The skin, I feel like, has just as many vitamins and minerals and nutrients as the rest of the carrot. Some pieces did roll away, but we got most of them back. And those ends of the carrots I'm going to use in a later vegetable stock. They're also going to go inside the same Ziploc bag as the celery pieces. So here you can see, well you can't see, I'm adding baking soda to the water in which I'm soaking my vegetables just to get them really clean. Here I am just chopping up an onion. I've already peeled and as you can see the peel is also going to be put inside a Ziploc bag. The first layer I always take off. And no, I don't know how to do this without crying. Luckily, I just tilted my head back and there was no confusion. There's no crying. So after I clean those vegetables, I'm just going to add the onions in. I have already rinsed off the carrots and celery and got rid of all the baking soda residue. And this is some chopped minced garlic that I get from Target. This is garlic powder, this is onion powder, just some crushed black and white pepper. I don't like spiciness too much, but I do like fresh pepper in my food. I'm running low, I'm trying to get everything. This is some seasoning that I got from Marshall's. Just something I thought I would add to my vegetables. And this is a little bit of chicken seasoning. That's Lowry's. And this is Mrs. Dash chicken seasoning. And I want to add a little bit of paprika for like a nice kind of smoky flavor. So here I'm just filling up the water, a cup with water. And this is truffle oil. And I'm just adding that for some more flavor and get the seasoning to really stick to the vegetables. So now I'm just adding that in a crock pot that I have on warm. 
which is the lowest heat setting. Now I'm just mixing all that seasoning, oil, and vegetables. I thought I would do that in the pot so that the seasoning doesn't stick to the Tupperware bowl and it sticks to the crock pot. So I'm gonna add two cups of water. I should have added three, but I just wanted to add two for the time being just to get the vegetables to cook down. I also thought about it and I added some little potatoes. I got these from Target. Uh, they're from the Good Gather brand, as well as the garlic. And I really do like that garlic. It's like a really good seasoning. Instead of chopping up garlic myself, it's already minced down and put like in these little cubes, put them in the freezer. And then when you're ready, you just pop them in the pan to help add extra flavor. I love garlic. I put it in everything. So I'm just adding those potatoes in. And now with the extra celery and carrot pieces, I'm just adding that into the bag to use for a future vegetable stock, as you can see. So now I have the chicken and I'm going to take the chicken and with the extra pieces of celery, I'm going to chop them and put them inside of the whole chicken along with the carrots and onions and potatoes. So I'm just going to put these in a Tupperware bowl and I'm going to put baking soda on them, clean these before I stuff it into the chicken. adding the baking soda to get them nice and clean. So now we're gonna cut off any extra fatty skin off the chicken, cause I don't like that. This is a truffle oil that I also got at Marshall's. And I'm just gonna spray the chicken with this. I took the glove off this hand because I don't wanna touch the seasonings and bottles with the wet chicken hand, glove hand. Just cutting off some extra fat that I didn't see from the neck area. We don't need that. I'm just gonna spray it down. I want all the seasoning to stick. This is organic poultry seasoning. I think I got this at Walmart. And we're gonna make sure we season inside the chicken as well. And I'm just using some Mrs. Dash. And then I'm gonna follow up with uh, onion powder and garlic powder making sure I always season inside the chicken as well. I'm just adding some of that paprika, a little smoky flavor, don't wanna add too much. Just adding a little bit of lorries. And now I'm going to stuff the chicken with the vegetables, which doesn't hold as much as I thought, but still, we gotta get it in there. And I'm just picking up all the seasoning that's on the table, on the cutting board, and I'm just putting that right on top of the vegetables. And I'm also gonna stuff that small little neck hole. Yes, I am. We can fit a few pieces in there. Just using the spoon to grab the extra seasoning that is on the cutting board, just to put that inside. And now I'm going to let the seasonings marinate overnight. So it is around seven o'clock a.m. when I'm doing this. So around 6 p.m. I started to make the soup. I let the vegetables boil in the crock pot on very the lowest heat setting and this is how it looks just showing you how soft these vegetables are mm. now this is later that evening around eight o'clock and i'm just taking the chicken out and I am just loving 
the smell that I'm getting already. And we're just gonna take this whole chicken and put it inside of the crock pot. Now what you can do, which I didn't do, is you can um, add an extra cup of water just to cover everything. I didn't do that preferably, but I do recommend that for future cooking of soups. And as you can see, everything had boiled down and it looks amazing. The chicken is falling oh, apart. The bone is a fucking you can't even tell it's a whole chicken. You can see some of the bones. You can see the chicken breast I there. Cook, I didn't even need to add noodles. I ended up adding noodles. I added some fettuccine noodles. And this is where I could have used the extra cup of water when I added in the noodles, just to make sure that the noodles cooked through and weren't sticking out of the water. And I did break these noodles in half, just to make it a little easier. And I had let the chicken cook without the noodles for about four to six hours on a medium setting. You can check on the noodles every 20 minutes or so. But if you were to add more water, you could check it every 10 minutes. Look at all that good chicken. Mmm, tender and juicy. And I'm just trying to place the chicken on top so we can get the noodles down and not just laying on top of the soup. Yes, that was me tasting a piece of the chicken because why not? It looks so good. Yes, I stole that piece. So here is the finished product. And as you can see, the soup looks amazing. It's so meaty. I'm so glad I made this vegetable stock from scratch. It tastes so good. I was so satisfied. And I went upstairs and I ate the soup in my bed and I was so happy. Finished cleaning. It's just a perfect way to end my night. Everything just looks amazing. This makes at least four to six servings in a bowl like this, or in a standard bowl. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy.